How's it going everyone? Welcome to another episode of Upbuild. Um, in this episode we're going to carry on work on our classic mini uh, Mark 1 conversion and I thought what we might do is just a couple of little jobs to tie off and then we might get the jig back on the car um, and then get it outside so we'll have a good walk around the car so I can show you kind of what's, what's been done in a better light, a bit more space outside. Obviously it's quite confined in here isn't it? So let's get the car outside and um, let's take a look at what's been uh, done to the car and we'll have a little chat about what's uh, coming up um, in the following episodes and what to look forward to. So yeah, let's crack on. <laughs> Right then, so the first thing to do is, um, following on from the last episode, we made that little repair on the bottom of the bulk head. Um, if you haven't seen that, uh, head back to the previous episode and we did a, a full stop motion repair of that little area on the bulk head. Um, so what we need to do is just go on the inside of the car and we have left the strength and plate on from uh, those, that part that I fixed. I can drill through from the inside and so then we can get the rotisserie jig um, that we made back on the car and so we can obviously wheel the car outside and get it um, flipped over, have a good look at the, the car, so we'll crack on and we'll get that um, repair drilled out from the inside. Right, there we go, so we've got ourselves a couple of pilot holes drilled through from the inside. Beautiful. Basically use the spreader plate on the back as a template to where drill me holes back through put a couple of pilot holes through from this side and then drill it back through from the other side. So we've got our holes back in there in the right place. And what I'll probably do is, as you've noticed probably in the previous episode when I've replaced that panel on the bottom or repaired that on the bottom, the other side of the spreader plate was pretty rusty. Cleaned it up, obviously painted it up, but probably going to end up maybe taking that off and replacing it with another piece of fresh um, plate on this side. Uh, and then probably the same on this side, just take that plate off with the um, drilling the spot welds out and replacing them. Uh, so that's just another little job which you could pos possibly do, I haven't fully decided yet, but uh, yeah, let's get some, the rotisserie on, get that on the front now. Um, so you can see we've got our two mounts now on the front there, um, which we can mount our rotisserie up, get that front section back on, and then we can whip it outside and have a bit of a look at it. There we go, back on the jig. 
Fantastic. Right. We'll tear you up and we'll, we'll get the thing outside. <laughs> uh, it's jobs like that where it obviously it's, I miss having my dad here to give us a hand so we can kind of do it together. Because it's obviously a lot easier and a lot safer when there's two people watching things and holding things and helping. But uh, obviously it can't be at the minute. But uh, uh, it didn't fall on my head anyway, so that's good. I'll crack on. Let's get it outside and have a look at it. So that's it back outside again to get a little bit better look at it in the in the light outside. Um, it's freezing, so I'm not going to be staying out here very long, as uh, and it looks like it might rain. But um, I thought we'd just have a quick walk around the car and just show you what we've done to the car. Just a very quick look at it. Um, like I say, it's a bit better light outside. Uh, anyone new to the channel who hasn't seen it before, um, I'm here for the first time. It's a Mark One conversion, so we started with a Mark Four Mini, which is a 1989, and we're taking it back. To a 1960s mini um, so obviously mark one doors external hinges the smaller back light smaller back screen um, and there's an awful lot of panels have to change to, to make that happen so what i'll do is i'll put a little link uh, in the video up, up here just so you can click on it and um, you can watch the playlist from the start um, or i'll also put another little uh, link in now as well so you can watch um, the time lapse of everything sort of happened up until about um, four or five months ago, which is a lot of the work done if you haven't got time to watch all the playlists, so playlist, obviously. Um, the sort of aim, what I've had is, is always to sort of try and make the videos as detailed as possible so you can see everything is kind of happening um, in sort of quite a detailed way, but without it being too long and too boring by sort of moving, we'll move the camera on quite a lot, give you a lot of close up images. So, like I say, it's worth looking at the um, the playlist, have a bit of a look at it. If, like, if you say if you're new, new to the channel, if you haven't seen a lot of the early work. Um, yeah, let's, let's have a little walk around it anyway. So, um, it can come into us now. So, 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 like, walk around the so, where we started from obviously was this front end. Um, once the car was completely stripped, so we did have it as a complete car. So, the first thing we did was um, start on this side. So, we had floors to do, so we replaced the floors in half sections, so one side and then the other side. So, we started this side with a new floor. Um, a new inner wing, which had to be a Mark 1 inner wing to create the A-pillar. So there's a completely new A-pillar um, cover panel fabricated by ourselves. Um, all um, detailed, let's say, in the videos, so we could then house the Mark 1 hinges. So that's all new. Um, new door step, and um, then obviously the B-pillar had to be converted across to Mark 1. So you've got a Mark 1 cover panel, which we had to fabricate. You can't buy that panel. So some panels, obviously, um, as a lot of you will know, you can't buy. Um, so we've had to fabricate them ourselves. That's one of the panels, so that was all fabricated by ourselves. Mark 1 um, quarter panel, because the Mark 1 doors are smaller, um, so I had to put the Mark 1 quarter panel on. Obviously the top of the window there comes down, so an infill panel, which obviously you've seen probably recently done on the other side. Um, and then coming around the back, um, I think the next bit we did was the boot floor. So there was a big repair panel in the boot floor inside, um, which we were replaced um, and uh, also the strengthening plates for the subframe they all had to be um, welded in um, jigged up to make sure they were right um, the heel panel or heel board that was also replaced and um, then we did obviously back lights smaller back lights for the mark one which is quite a telltale sign for mark ones just one of the things smaller back window so there was infill panels this window was actually a little bit larger um, recess and actually that's now been brought in, it's narrower now, 
Um, well, the aperture, should I say, is a bit narrower than what it was, and that's what it should be in a Mark 1. So, really, at that stage, when we got to there, um, that was it. That was kind of the, everything done on one side, so it's just a case of repeating that same thing uh, down this next side, which is what the, the last few videos um, have all been about. Um, and so, really, where we're up to now is sort of the whole shell, the metalwork is almost complete apart from dropping the rear windows and putting the front end on the car so the next kind of stage really is just getting the car um, shot blasted so then we can epoxy prime the car which will kind of seal the car off because um, everything we've done up till now all the little bits of prime we've got is just sort of a temporary measure just to sort of kind of keep things preserved uh, while the time we're working on the car obviously it's all over a period of sort of 12 months well I'm saying 12 months probably longer than that actually isn't it but it's over a long period of time that the work's been done so obviously you need to preserve areas as you're working on them so um, oh, no, one other thing I forgot to mention was when we did the back um, we replaced the rear hinge panel um, the bottom corners and um, repair panels so I did them in sections because obviously you can buy a lot of panels heritage you can buy a whole back panel in heritage but um, you know we haven't got an endless pot of money so we're basically doing things on a budget still so you know all the areas that there are areas that we could do faster and probably use better materials but there is a limit as to how much we can spend on it so but there was a lot of fabrication involved in that and we've learned a lot you know, you'll, you'll see a lot in previous videos there was a lot of work in that and it's quite nice to watch all that actually take shape and i enjoyed it as well actually it was quite actually good fun doing that i suppose you know you could just go and buy a brand new mark one shell but we've had thousands of views on building this and it's been amazing we've been so like impressed and so grateful for everyone who's viewed it and obviously if we had just gone and bought a mark one or mark one brand new mark one shell these those thousands of people who viewed the video wouldn't have wouldn't have had the entertainment of you watching us building an air uh, a mark one shell um make the fool of ourselves if we have <laughs> but anyway so the last bit was we did the new scuttle panel in the um in a dash panel that was the last bit i did Um, another thing, obviously, you've seen us drop these front windows, the back ones will have to come down the same as well. Um, that's another case of sort of just having picked the parts up that we need to do that yet. So we need the new, or not new, but we need Mark 1 rear glasses, or rear windows, the quarter windows. So we can then drop them in and get the shape that we need then to make a template off to, to drop that top, that back window. So that will come down the same as the front, um, fabricated in exactly the same way. A little bit more work in that, so that'll be an interesting, interesting, or an in interesting part of an episode. Anyway, um, so um, the next bit really that we're going to be doing is is making ourselves a um, shop bus and booth out here, which um, we'd had hoped to have already done that by now, but unfortunately because of the COVID situation, my dad can't be here and we want to do it together. I need him to help us anyway, but we want to be able to do the whole thing together anyway. And um, that's the whole point to do the, the build together. So um, like I say, that hope, we had hoped that that would have been already done by now, but that's the plan. As soon as we're able to, we'll be getting that done, getting it built. Um, shot blasting, we'll start on the bottom of the car, shot blast the whole underside of the car, and um, then seal that off. We'll be paint that ourselves with um, epoxy primer. And then um, just kind of work our way around it. There's one little step before that which we need to do, a couple of people have mentioned, and that is um, the um, spot welding of the whole shell, all the seams. So I've plug welded everywhere not as a technical measure but as a sort of like building up to actually spot weld and so we'll go around the whole shell and spot weld it you know every inch or so through the seams and that'll get the car as stiff as we can get it you know even stiffer than what it would have been in factory um, I mean that's what they do with a lot of modern cars now when cars are brought out a sporty model that's brought out always has taken on one side um, and has extra you know gusset and extra spot welding in the shell to make the whole shell stiffer so that's what we're going to do we'll get a spot welder which we haven't got at the moment so if anybody lives close to us and has a spot welder for sale or knows of one or um that's what we're looking for <laughs> but uh yeah so i think that's probably it really I just want a quick walk around us i thought we'll have a little bit of chat about the car and then um sort of just show you a little bit of what's been done out in the daylight outside where you can see it a bit a bit closer and a bit nicer light um Right, as you can see, it's, it's flipping freezing out here. So um, yeah, we've got hats, as you've seen. You'll have seen that in the last one. Um, my wife's made the these handmade, um, what are they called again? Uh, what are they called again? Beans. 
beanies. <laughs> My wife's behind the camera, so that's quite handy. You'll notice she's been following us around to make it all look very professional. <laughs> yeah, so we've got um, beanies, and you've, you've seen them on the last episode, but you can get them in a range of colours. And so, so thanks very much for everyone who's bought one, and definitely take a look at the the uh, the link. I'll put it in the link in the description. We've got all the different coloured hats you can buy, and got the logo on the little um, laser etched logo with the, the little classic mini on it, and all the different colours. They're also reversible and what have you, and choose whatever you, you like. Come gift wrapped, um, gift box. So, um, but uh, yeah, again, massive thanks to everyone who's already bought one. That's a real big help on the on the build. You know, it really helps us keep going making these videos. Yeah, um, really great. And um, also got the hoodies and we've got the mugs and the caps and all the different things, t-shirts. So uh, all in the the, the description. But um, definitely take a look at that. And um, if you enjoyed the video, definitely give us a, a thumbs up. That always really helps, helps a lot. Um, I know this one's a bit different, a bit shorter, but I haven't had a chance to really do a lot of work, and that's just down to the, the circumstances that we're in at the moment. And obviously, everyone's suffering the same way. So um, definitely, I hope everyone's okay and you know keep going. Um, but uh, a massive thanks, huge thanks. Definitely consider subscribing to the channel and um, keep with us, stick with us. And um, so yeah, obviously, um, I know everyone will be missing me, Dad. I know everyone always says that, but um, he's um, he's watching the videos and. Um, enjoying them, so hopefully you'll be back with us soon. And um, like I say, on the next one, we'll try and crack on and get a bit more done. Plenty to come, um, as I've mentioned. But um, again, thanks for watching. Take care, everyone, and we'll see you on the next one.